functions going on all at once. Mostly all of them. Sorry, that was right in the Un, deux, trois. It's fine. I'm used to it. It's not really that loud. All right, all right. <laughs> How are you, Aaron? I'm are you great. good? How are you, John? I'm doing okay. Cool. I, uh, we, uh, you know, we just can't find those ear. We can't find those eardrops. <laughs> those <laughs> eye drops. You know, you get in the pool. <laughs> I know. You get an ear infection. Well, yeah. So uh, every time before I go and I swim, <laughs> I to like to. I like to put eardrops in my ears. <laughs> yeah. So you <laughs> let your ears know what it's gonna feel like soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> just a tease. Yeah. So, Aaron, <laughs> we're here on another episode. <laughs> yeah, we are. Episode 178 of uh, This A Day in the Life. Um, who are we profiling today, John? I thought we would probably do um, like Katie Couric. <laughs> okay. Or like maybe, um, what's her name? Curry Michelle Kader. Yang, Michelle oh, Yang, or Yo, the, the, figgets, the figure skater. Figgets. <laughs> the figure skater. Yeah, she figgets a lot. Um, Michelle Obama Yang. Yeah, Michelle Obama Yang. I'd like to see Michelle Obama. Not right? related to the Obamas, though, right? No, it's her middle name. Middle name. Much like Barack is not related to Saddam Hussein. True. Mm -hmm. These are all true things. So, Aaron, how that are you doing? We know of. <laughs> so Who knows, really? How are you doing? How are you doing today, Aaron? We're doing great, probably. Let's, do let's watch a video. Oh, oh you want to go ahead and just let's go? Hit the, just let's hit drop, the vid, dog. Just drop right let's into it? drop it. it. All right. Okay, drop, Aaron. Drop, drop, drop. Oh! 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 That is. Oh, those are those are some of my favorite videos. That's something my brother would do. <laughs> oh yeah, one hundred percent. Oh, that's definitely something your brother would definitely. I'm sure I've told you before, but like. At my grandparents' house growing up, when we were probably like 10 or 11 or something, we'd right. play baseball, like play catch with our uncle. Yeah. And then my brother would was just a little spaz who loved to get hit and loved attention. Um, hmm. He doesn't love to get hit. Right. But if it was for attention... He would do it. Especially if it were by a baseball. So he would go like... 30, like 20 yards away from us and then just put his hands behind his back. Okay. And stand there and just have us throw baseballs at him and try to hit him. <laughs> and then he would he would turn around, okay, and then bend over and have us try to hit him in the butt. Interesting. And then he later on <laughs> got into <laughs> yeah. a high speed chase with cops, right? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think that that young man turned into a felon. Who <laughs> saw that coming? <laughs> is he doing good lately? How has he been? Have you I talked don't to know. Him? I have no idea. Uh, he's not in prison, so that's but good. he's not doing well. Okay. Well, so statistically, he's on the right track. Okay, <laughs> he's not he's not in prison anymore, but he's not doing well. Okay. I think that's what most ex cons go through. Right. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we, we he would just have us throw stuff at him because he was an undiagnosed ADHD. Right. <laughs> and didn't yeah. know. You know, <laughs> he loved it. He ate that shit up. Damn. Love to get hurt. Don't you love how it sounds so much better now? I turned that little that humming down. Yeah. Do you notice? Not really. Okay. You're more into in in into it than I am. Yeah. More um, accustomed to the sound, like the background noises, and you can hear the universe expanding if you really thought about it enough. It's true when you okay. that you know that sound that like really sharp sound that you hear sometimes. Uh huh. That's what pe some people think it is. It's the really. It's the you, you can't like know that, <laughs> but it's kind of neat because nobody knows what it, what it is. Just your brain like. Boop. Vibrating, right, or something. I don't know. Do you slowly developing epilepsy? True. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll believe that. I believe that more than anything. More than the earth universe expanding. Yeah. If the Earth was expanding, whoa, buddy. Whoa. Scary. So you believe that the um 
I did see it at the, the last Flat Earth convention that I went to. Yeah, I took a wrong turn. Okay, that makes sense. You know, to like, the Hollow Earth. You convention. missed out on a lot. Like there was a lot of. What was it, what was new? Uh, that there was flat. Yeah. Um, that people who believe the Earth is round is they're they're dumb. They're dumb. They're misled. A horrible. By, they're just by uh, like the it's just, at NASA. The thing is, I just I I just wish that that. Our schools taught the truth. Well, we, we should just open a flat Earth school. You know, I maybe that's what I should do. Mm-hmm. It not how funny. Know, my that, wife is giving a flat birth. <laughs> <laughs> it was all for just that like joke. She lays down on her stomach <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> there was something I read the other. <laughs> there was a meme that I saw that talking about this. I love how we some always somehow always talk about uh, internet culture. Flat Earth is the uh, epitome of internet culture because it was birthed again as like a joke to see if it would get people to believe in it again. Right, and then and it, it worked clearly. Oh yeah, oh clo- of course. Any 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 pseudo idea can be taken so far. Um. You want to read that? It's supposed to be a weird fact. In 1965, a machine was patented to deliver a baby using centrifugal force. The machine would spin you until the baby came out and it would be caught in a net. (laughs) That's wild. So the net is around the woman's, like, below the vagina. And her boobs look goofy as hell. Whoever drew this (laughs) drew man boobs on a woman. (laughs) <laughs> I drew I drew it. I drew and it. it. That's probably why the baby is coming out of a penis. I did draw that's it. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. I, I understand that. I think it's funny, the idea, because patenting something I think is pretty simple. It's just a little bit of, like, paperwork. Right. Um, so I, I understand, like, back in the day when intellectual property wasn't as big a thing, mm-hmm. you had to patent something. Right. Instead, of, you couldn't, like, put it on Twitter and say, oh, it's mine. Yeah, that's true. You There's know, a lot easier ways of doing stuff now. You had to patent your stupid fucking ideas. <laughs> like <laughs> but, that. Well, that's like how they um, like train astronauts, too. The centrifugal force. They have to spin them around really really fast. Or it's like that thing that used to be at Worlds of Fun that we talked about. Right. With Dayton. Oh, yeah. That, the, the, that holds you up against the wall. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Well, I'm an astronaut now. Went on that one time. Have you been on any... Uh, when was the last time you went to a music park? I think it was that last that time. last time. Yeah, because I went on a roller coaster and I, I didn't really know that I had motion sickness, but I found out pretty certain. I didn't right. throw up, but I was I w- did not feel good. Yeah, I can't like ride in the back seat of cars for very long. Really, like, my head gets to, starts to hurt. So I can't read in a car. Like if I'm in the passenger seat, I can't read like a book. Mm. I can't read out of the car either. Yeah, because that's what I was going to ask you. Like, do you stick your head out? Maybe does that help? And Well, sometimes I do like a dog. Okay. And I'll throw my tongue out like, ah, you know, um, just to live a little. Okay, that makes sense that you do that. Yeah. I feel like in my next life I'll be a dog, so I might as well start getting used to it. Mm-hmm. So my, I eat my own shit, too. That's huh. going to be the title of this episode. I eat my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me write that down. We're gonna get. <laughs> they're not gonna monetize us on YouTube. <laughs> but people will click. Wouldn't on it be it. fucking wild if one time you saw like watch one of our episodes and uh, an ad popped up? Mm-hmm. <sighs> get like twenty cents. Like, oh my god, look what happened! <laughs> I just desperate. <laughs> I just posted a video today, uh-huh. and like I have COVID in the title, and I'm like, yeah. I shouldn't have done that because I don't think hot button issue. Well, it's not even that. Is it that? Like YouTube won't let oh, a really? lot of people see it probably because I'm like mm-hmm. wow my views are really low the on this one. Algorithm on YouTube is pretty fucking horrible. It's horrendous. I'll uh so I'll lately I've been watching a bunch of like day in the life of like Japanese people like certain different um. Uh, How did you get on that? I re- <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know. know. Well, so um, mm, how you get on anything else, John? You just kind of like stumble on it. It's kind of because I've I've watched. Oh, I think it was. I like watching people cook like street food. Okay, like, vendors and street food. It's kind of relaxing to me to because they're all all the videos are just them quietly making food in a loud, busy street. It doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like the ASMR shit. 
Like it's a nice, soothing kind of thing. And then it's all weird food that I've never seen before, really. Okay. And the desserts are kind of fun. So I think through that, this channel that I watch <laughs> specifically is this guy who's a Filipino guy who's living in... He's American, but he's half Filipino. Okay. He's living in Jap- Japan with his now wife and their child. But he would go to like... He would... uh, What was it? Like he would follow around a student for a day and like, oh, this is what so-and-so does in a day. And uh, it's really interesting and just kind of insightful stuff. Okay. Um. But so like through this, you get stuff that's related to Japan. Okay. And then I would go to, you can click on like, don't recommend channel again. Cause it's a bunch of like anime stuff that mm. I'm not interested. I don't have anything against it. I just don't want to see it. Right. It's just like, you know, whatever. It's not stuff I'm interested in. So I'll click don't uh, recommend channel or I'm not interested in this. And then I will go like, I'll refresh the channel and it will show me that shit again. Okay. The anime stuff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It just keeps like recycling the stuff. Even the channels that I tell them I don't want to see anymore, like I blocked them or whatever, they'll just pop back up. Channel w- videos I've already watched hmm. will pop back up on like as number 1 on the channel on the Yeah. Website. It's like why do I want to watch this over again? And some of them I do just but it's been a y- like a year or two since I seen them the last time. I got onto a uh thing called Justin Can't Swim and it has to do with uh this guy he's a he has a doctor doctorate degree in like psychology swimming yeah and he breaks down uh like uh what are they called those interrogation videos of like someone oh. who got who's like in, the cctv videos yeah i'm being okay cool. and then he breaks it down like by how like their mannerisms Hell do yeah. and like how like watch how a normal person who was not in who was not guilty yeah. would have acted like this instead versus like how body he, language stuff or how they say something they because yeah. someone who's like innocent or didn't do anything they would be more defensive about yeah. something like if you were accusing me of like murdering your dad mm-hmm. i like i didn't fucking kill your dad like I'm like yeah. you know that's instead of <laughs> being like well you know i wasn't there you know like yeah you being more relaxed about yeah, yeah things like that when you know that you're innocent it seems it's to i don't i feel like the the culture of today is like people nobody believes anybody at all with anything right so like if you know for sure that something is the truth and you just present it like in a neutral, neutral attitude. Like this is clearly true. Yeah, I know this. And that, in like that case, like where you're getting accused of murder, you're like, no, I did not do that. Yeah. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, you did. Like, it's so frustrating. That's how they get people to like eventually confess. It's right. a false confession because especially like kids or younger people or people with like mental deficiencies, mm-hmm. like that uh, making a murderer kid. Oh yeah, he didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, he didn't know he was getting no, he interrogated. No, to being into a, into he didn't a know. Murder. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> oh man, like, what the? F- you can't. That was really bad. interesting. That was a really interesting documentary series. I, that was like their first. That was like Netflix's first attempt at doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, first, and then it never stopped. And then it never stopped. <laughs> now it's just like all a normal. <laughs> that's all those. Did you ever see now. my octopus teacher? Oh, oh God, it was. I, didn't, I wasn't a big I wasn't um, a big fan of it. Really? I don't know if we talked about this or not. We, I, think. I think we meant to the last time we didn't get to yeah. it. Um, no, I have not. But I uh, I have been talking about octopus octopi Oct- off and on for the past like couple weeks because my girlfriend saw it, and before that I think we would talked about it for some reason because I remember seeing something on like Planet Earth or some ocean show where octopi parent like a mom will stay with the kids forever or until she dies Mm -hmm. and that is because until they get like you know can kind of fend for themselves but also they will eventually eat the mom because then that's food for that you know yeah and that's just normal to them cannibalism's mostly fine in a lot of animal kingdoms (laughs) yeah (laughs) not ours um well like bears like bears all the time like a baby cub dies they'll eat they'll eat the shit (laughs) out of it yeah Free it's food. food. Yeah, it's free Food's food. It's food. Survival, survival or die. Survive or die. You can't fucking say that. That's at it. All. Survival die. Talking about survive or die. Someone got COVID. Who? I, I think it's <laughs> someone important in our. <laughs> Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Chania. Trump got Trump though. Trump got and COVID. all of his friends and <laughs> everyone around <laughs> Everybody, him. Everybody, every single person. That's crazy. 
You yeah. know, have you noticed all the Democratic people who've gotten COVID? There aren't any. It's crazy. Who <laughs> <laughs> saw that one coming? <laughs> people who actually wear a mask and kind of take it even semi seriously don't get right. it. It's it's absurd that it's like I, you, we don't uh, listen to scientists. We don't. Where? Why are we not listening yeah. to scientists? It's not we. I mean, I mean, yeah. It's the royal we. That's what Trump calls his cock. <laughs> Good ch- um, Hoochie mama, what? <laughs> Hit me. But like, no, like, what do you like? Ha- <laughs> that was cool as hell. <laughs> I'm glad that's on camera. <laughs> We're going to edit it out. <laughs> John, edit it out in post. Um, I think it's pretty cool that Trump got it. I think he deserved it. I hope he dies of COVID. Because what a slap in the face to any fucking idiot out there. Herman Cain got it and then thought he was fine for like two weeks almost. And then he died from it. If you're old and especially him, who's not healthy at all. Yeah. <laughs> he is just a fucking gross old man. <sighs> I think he's probably been one of our best presidents. <laughs> and and I think <laughs> that dude's like 300 pounds. Whoa. He's thick is as he hell. Really? He's got to be. He's, six, he's like 6'4". Six, is he really he's that tall? tall? Yeah, he's like 6'3 or 4. He's your height. How I'm not 6'4". How tall are you? 6'1"? He's, oh, he's taller than you. Trump's taller <laughs> yeah. than you. He's got a bigger hog than you. And spray tan, too. To look Holy like yours. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got the two-tone Malone in there. But, yeah, he's like fucking... He's big. He's a big guy. You gotta give it a rest. With this. this is me back in the day when I was clicking the pin over and over. Oh my bad. Yeah, I didn't realize I was doing. <laughs> I that. like it, but I only said that because you, you, I used to do it. Revenge. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think. Oh, I think I'm snagged on your thing. I got. It. Um. I hope he dies. Okay. I don't mind saying that. That's fair. Bad people don't deserve to be alive. That's true. Especially when they're on almost dead anyway. True. What do you think about Biden? If like Biden actually wins, good. He's I, well, yeah, yeah. But I think it's so going to be. So this is the problem with whenever you have a president you wanted to win, because almost all the time the House and the Senate is either one or the other. It's either Republican or Democratic. So the Senate's probably still going to be Republican. The House is probably still going to be Democratic. Mm-hmm. So then. You, I, I think you need all of them to agree on one thing to get it to pass. Okay. Unless you do like an executive order like Trump's been doing a billion times, but then you get one judge to knock it down and it's done. Right. It's a weird system. I don't really... Um, there's a lot of checks and balances that Trump just jumps over and then a, a fucking judge in Hawaii is like, no, <laughs> like a nobody in Hawaii. They don't even ever say their name. It's just like a federal judge in... Kalamazoo, Michigan said <laughs> no to Trump and now it's not a thing. It's amazing. Right. They they have more power than that motherfucker. It's crazy. So I think if Biden wins, that would be cool, but also quit. We don't need more old white guys. We need somebody a little bit younger. We need somebody in their 50s or 40s or yeah. 30s. Fuck. Yeah. Why not? It's true. So, so you'd be okay with lowering the age of being a president? Well, it's not that it needs it. It can be lowered. I think when you turn thirty-five, you can be a president. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I would be okay with uh, restricting the age. <laughs> if you're over seventy, right, you can't do it. That makes sense. Because you're not like you mentally. You kind of you slowly start to go, and not not necessarily saying either of them have started to go. Right. Whether there's facts about it or not, <laughs> but it's it's every it's been human history that your brain starts to kind of fall apart the older you get. Right. You know, your motor functions slow down. Trump falls down a fucking, you know, a ramp or whatever he was hey, doing. Hey, dude, he it was slick. Very well. Hey, no, it was slick, Aaron. It was slick. He was wearing his, <laughs> his golf shoes or his fucking bowling shoes. Um, yeah, I don't, I think, um, and that was kind of the same thing with Bernie Sanders. Like a lot of his stuff I agreed with, but he's also like 80 fucking years old. True, and he had a heart attack. He had a heart attack. It would have been better if he'd won in 2016, but, of course, the Democrats don't like him because he's got ideas that they don't understand. Um, yeah, I think the whole system's rigged. The earth is flat. Ghosts are real. 
Um, dog spelled backwards is Sagad. John spelled backwards is Nodge. What is spaghetti? Itagaps. What is pear? R- rape. <laughs> <laughs> like the fruit <laughs> or the pear of something. No, uh, the fruit. Rape. <laughs> R-A-E-P. I mean, I guess it's like, no, it's, yeah, it's rape. So how do you see, do you like just are able to, do you see the word and just see it flipped? Or yeah, like? I know how it's spelled. You, sometimes I'll flip, like I'll mix them up because I can't for some reason. It's like spaghetti. Sometimes I would mix that up sometimes, but. um. And th- have you always been able to do that? Since like fifth grade, yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. My you brain just spoke- developed. And it's like, you know, this is what you do now. <laughs> you fucking freak. <laughs> you freak. You little idiot. <laughs> You're not going to be good at math or anything good. <laughs> this is all you can do is say English words backwards. And God damn it, can I ever do it? What are you looking for? Well, I wanted to show you another video, Aaron. Oh, great. Because <clears throat> is this your um, big cat? No, I just wanted to like. Just your abuelo. Oh, I have one thing to say to the, say to you before this. So what? I was in I was in my uh, neighborhood grocery store, right? The co-op that I co-own. Okay. And uh, sometimes they have to. Um, well, anyway, so there was a package by Nestle of uh, I think it was a uh, dark or no, was it a uh, hot choc hot chocolate? And um, the title of it was Abuelita. Right? Yeah. But it was a picture of an old white grandma. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah. I live in a Hispanic neighborhood. Why didn't they just, why didn't Nestle, they had to order like the Hispanic one. So people, you know, because it caters to them because there's more more Hispanics around. Yeah. You've got to sell the, I think it was Hispanic hot chocolate, which is the thing. Like chilies and shit, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Everything but has why spice not change, in it. Yeah. Why not change the woman on there? Mm-hmm. It was just some old grandma, some old white grandma, like from fucking Food Network or something. Well, saying the word. Well, you, you, well, <laughs> it had you, a little, it had a little voice bubble on there. It just said the, it didn't say the n word. It just said the n word. <laughs> she's a nice grandma. <laughs> you know, she's not totally racist. <laughs> it's weird as hell. All right, go ahead. Mama. That's what good pussy sounds like. Jacob, I told you to put Zay in that. She just, he had to take a, do a bunch of different takes <laughs> for that, for, for her to get the sound right. <laughs> All right, Mom, when I get my line right, just smack the shit out of me in my chest and tell me I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, Mom, I like it. Jacob's a freak, man. He's a fucking little goofball sex addict. This, this is a Sempan <laughs> He's using his he's Yeah, he's using his ears as spoons. <laughs> yeah. But he's doing that with his ears. Isn't that pretty interesting? Pretty neat, yeah. Remember I don't know if you in Weston there was some guy that my dad knew. He w- he was always at the Weston Cafe. When we would go down there on like the weekends on like a Sunday morning or something. And the only thing anybody ever called him was big ears. Really? He just had big ears. And now that that reminded me of him, like, <laughs> how that kind of sucks. <laughs> just like have that be your attribute. Like your name, your nickname is the one attribute that people notice immediately. Right. <laughs> That's great. I wonder if like his parts here hurt where his ears hit. Oh, I, oh okay, yeah, probably. No, ears are weird, man. What would your nickname be if it was based on your attributes? What would mine be? Probably Dumbo, the Hog Dog, the Hog Dog. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> Do you have big ears too? Yeah, big ears. Is that ears. why? Yeah, big ears. I would be fat ass. <laughs> what do you say? I'd be fat ass. Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people were doing to me all through high school. That's what they were doing. They yeah. were just going on the nickname rule. <laughs> just call me fat fuck. <laughs> I didn't get it.
get it. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> they were just trying to give me a nickname. Oh, man, I blew it. That's why nobody liked um, me. So something I noticed um, lately hey, hey, was hey, that, hey. like, so at my job, you know, I serve yeah. elderly people. We Presumably been, in, like, a mostly white old people home. Yes. Mm-hmm. So my question to you is like kind of like a white person question. What you guys is, what's the deal with like white people really liking pickles? I've wondered this my entire life. Really? I don't like pickles. You don't like pickles? I've never had a pickle. What? I never. I've tasted it. I've like had so like because, you know, you get them on your sandwiches and stuff. Yeah. And it leaves like the little the pickle water on there. I don't like it. Not a big fan. Really? I've had cucumbers before. You like cucumbers? But they're all right. Okay. I usually would like juice them or like but chop them up really fine or whatever. But okay. they're all oh, water. It's them. all yeah. water. Yeah. It's like ninety five percent water. Um tastes kinda like soap. A little soapy. Okay. I don't know. I'd never <clears throat> that's one of the only things that I grew up not liking that I haven't tried in my adulthood. Okay. So you'd never try it? I don't have. So if I had, if I brought a jar of pickles for next episode, would you, would you eat one? (laughs) No, (laughs) I don't think I would. Really? (laughs) At this point, I really don't want to eat them. (laughs) You know, and thinking about it, like I I was trying to say, like, I I don't know why I wouldn't. But now that you like bring it up, like, "Eh, I really don't want to. (laughs) This is not appetizing to me at all. I don't know why. That's fair. Because honestly, I, I don't mind the sweet and sour taste of stuff now. Okay. And I imagine that's what that mostly is, right? Yeah. It's just like, it's. Um, pickled cucumbers. Yep, pretty much. But I don't like. I've had like pickled cabbage. I don't like that. Yeah, no. I had it on like some. I don't like cabbage. I really don't like cabbage. I really don't like cabbage either. But I didn't know it was going to be on there. It's like the, one of the I'd worst of the salads. It. Well, it's not a, a, a lot uh, of Asian food has um, pickled cabbage, like kimchi. Yeah. I. Uh, no, thank the you. The point. The I'll point pass. of that is to to like age your vegetables through winter. So you can have your vegetables in the winter. Right. The point isn't that it tastes good. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. But now we think since it's we it's the easiest time in the history of humanity <laughs> to be alive. When everything is at the ready. You oh, don't have to forage. You don't have COVID. to like hibernate for, you know, whatever. People just buy pickles. You know, you can keep the pickle brine and then just throw vegetables in there and you have pickled vegetables in like a week. Yeah. I, huh. I think that's interesting. <clears throat> Apparently, if you drink the brine, it like has a lot of like. Uh, Would you ever drink it? Would you no, drink? I don't okay. like pickle juice. I don't okay. like any of that shit. Um, it, I don't. It's salty, too. Yeah. Which I don't really care for. I, everything about pickles I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister used to eat them like fucking crazy. My brother loved them. My dad doesn't like them. Okay. So I probably That's where you got, got it, from. it from my dad. That's where you got it from. That's I think my that's mom all genetics. Too. Yeah, it's all well, the food you like is all genetics. That's why I smoke uh, Camel Silvers. <laughs> I'm gonna keep banging against that and drink three Miller Lights a night. The uh the pints? My dad's very responsible. The big the tall boys, the sixteen ounces. Nice. One time I stole one from him, and that wasn't too long ago. <laughs> Did you notice? <laughs> I felt really bad. No, he didn't care. Oh, He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I could never steal anything from him compared to what my <laughs> the rest of my family has taken from him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dwight. I'm just going to play the pussy sound macaroni uh, video over and over. Oh, oh there it is. Uh, Here's a good one. So, do you show Here's the videos on the video? These ones I won't show. I'll no. just show the only. We'll do the audio. Okay. The only one I'll show is the first one of the guy oh, okay. getting okay. hit in the nuts. Perfect. All the other ones are just whatever. Just reactions. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a pumpkin. Yeah. I thought it was a basketball. <laughs> so, would that would that be something that you and your girlfriend would ever do? No. Why? <laughs> Why? I've seen videos like that. Not that was pretty tame compared to the one cuz you see like the it's like uh, the dancing 
th- I've seen like it's it's a violent sexual dance. Right. So they'll like fucking like the chick will be just like she'll be um oh what's it called uh, twerking. Yeah. And then the dude will just like run in like a goddamn rocket ship. <laughs> yeah. And just like fucking pound pounce on her, you know. And then she'll turn over and like some of them will get on the ground like just it's just kind of like missionary, and the guy will just fake like dry hump this chick on the ground to a song. In Latino front of people do it too. People. Latin people do it too. I think it's interesting as hell, and I I hope that didn't hurt her <laughs> <laughs> when she was doing that on concrete. That was in a parking lot. That's wild. She bounced all the way over to it, flipped over. That's an impressive and he skill. Put, he put a. <laughs> Karate chop. So oh, I, what I don't yeah. like about that video is that the guy is going to get a lot of credit, but I think the woman should get um, equal most, or more, if not oh, all of it. <laughs> that guy didn't do anything. He just fucking. He's just like, well, yeah, but Body. wait, 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 wait. What if we've got these pumpkins? So hear me out. If I put them on your ass, could I? Cr- Body like <laughs> karate chop them on your ass. <laughs> And she was like, <sighs> "You think they're dating? You think they're dating?" I think he probably has a lot of Instagram followers. That okay, was why she did it. Okay, like, yeah, I'll fucking do it. You have fifty thousand followers. Makes so sense. We'll get some. I'll get some attention for my road rash ass, and <laughs> you'll get attention for your fucking Halloween karate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like. If that guy wasn't in there, I'd still be impressed. Okay. Doing stuff on your like bare skin on asphalt or concrete is in, insane. It's very insane. Yeah, that's why I don't play uh, shirts versus skins basketball. <laughs> I'm always skins. <laughs> talking about like and I take my shorts off. Everybody's like, "Stop it!" Talking about like clothes and stuff, or like articles of clothing. On yeah. do you ever feel like a piece of shit when you don't when you forget to zip up your zipper? I've done that multiple times. I did that twice in the same night or same day. The other day, I was at a brewery with some friends. And I washed my hands, my hands, and looked at myself before I left. And now every time it's instinctual because I've done it so many times that I look down at my zipper and every time it was down. <laughs> I just forgot. I'm so bad at it now. I yeah. think it's because I wear, like, the summer I just wore shorts. Oh, so and one of my nice pair of shorts didn't have a zipper, so I never had to zip it up. So I think fair. I'm just used to that now. So. I'm, a, I'm my own worst enemy. Yeah, don't you feel don't you, I, really? I don't feel stupid, but I do like I can't be embarrassed by much mm. anymore. I don't I don't have much shame. <laughs> you shouldn't have shame about something you just kind of forgot to do unless it's like washing your hands or feeding your baby. But <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I don't cuz it's not like I'm free balling it and my cock's like poking out. Okay. My you know, my balls are holding it up. I got underwear on. I'm an I'm an adult. I'm a responsible adult. Okay. Um, what was I? I had a joke. I think I, <laughs> I was drunk last week. I think after one of our podcasts, <laughs> and I it was like three in the morning, and I thought of something. It was uh, uh, it shouldn't be called free balling. It should be called sagging sock. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I thought sagging sock sounded funny, <laughs> as if you would call your wiener a sock. <laughs> a sagging <laughs> sock. <laughs> That's I think I was thinking like, <clears throat> you know how like some like Red Hot Chili Peppers would come out on stage with just a sock on their wieners and that was their only clothes. Yeah. Like taped around their body. It's not, I don't know how they did it, but I think I was thinking that sag and okay. sock. That makes sense. Sounds like a city in New, like a in the state of New York. Sag and sock. Uh, sag New York. and sock New York. That's the hatchy. Sag and sock New Jersey. Pick Poughkeepsie, Pennsylvania. Sagging sock, uh, Kentucky. Hanging hawk. That might uh, be a word. <laughs> might be a city, actually. Hanging hog. Sagging sock. Hanging hog is pretty funny. Connecticut. Connecticut. Sagging sock, Maine. Mm-hmm. Sagging sock, uh, Rhode Island. Yes. Sagging sock, Massachusetts. Uh huh. Sagging sock, Florida. Uh, no, nope, nope. can't do it. New Hampshire. We were looking for New, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I couldn't think of it. Like, What's another one up there? Like, I know there's another one. Florida. <laughs> Yeah, let's go all the way back. Let's go all the way to the south. <laughs> the northeast, <laughs> northernmost. Oh no, not the Legos. <laughs> Save the Legos, John. What would be the first thing you took out of your house if it was on fire, or the only thing, I guess? Probably a camera. Which one? 
the DLR. Yeah. DSLR, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. One of those, one of these two, that one or uh, the one yeah, back that here. Makes sense. Yeah, I would steal one of your cameras too. I have a really cool old school <laughs> one. Really? Like a retro one? Yeah, I get it. Do you take tasteful nudes with it? No. Yeah. It's like oh, it doesn't work? <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> it's going to break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, I think I've seen you have that on your other podcast. I don't think I don't know if I've ever shown anyone this or I think you had it out like in the display at some point. I don't I might have. Neat. Have you was there oh god. <laughs> was there film in it? When no. you got it? Oh damn. Mm-hmm. I got this at a garage sale. Where got at? it for three bucks. It was in, uh I was on the road, you know, doing my vlogs. Yeah. It was, I believe, in Nebraska. Oh, Hanging Hog, Nebraska. Yeah, Hanging Hog, or Sag and Sock. Sag and Sock. <laughs> See, it rolls off the tongue. <laughs> but yeah. That's crazy. It's interesting they fit all of that in that little that little thing. I know, isn't it such, a, it's such an old, old camera? I don't even know how you even take you know, a picture. Like the, I, don't, I, I think you have to like, twist, oh, I'm yeah. assuming you twist that. Maybe it's timed. Maybe. Or I'm thinking maybe there's some sort of thing that attaches to it and has like a button. It might be one of those because like I'm assuming like you'd have to, the film goes in here and it oh, has to be steady yeah. to be able to capture the shot uh-huh. and it's going to keep it so an open like iris. Menu. Yeah, but it has over here. It has bright. It has haze. It's like a good camera for the time. Yeah, and you can change the feet. Sucks. Like, have you thought about like getting it to work? I mean, like, I thought about it, but I'm like so scared of like having anyone touch it. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of I'm scared of touching it and trying to make a f- trying to fuck yeah. with it. You should take it to. There's that photography store in Weston that sells like oh, old yeah. cameras. Yeah. See if they can like appraise it or see what like tell you what it is. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of Antique Roadshow. Hell of a TV show. I Hell think, of um, a TV show. Um, but yeah, you should take that on and then have them tell you it's like. Thirty dollars. <laughs> it <laughs> is like what? Really? <laughs> Amazing. Like, yeah, and like, like I, they open it up and it says like Hitler on it or yeah. something like that. And then <laughs> that like, would be worth a lot of money, dude. I'm like, <laughs> what? If it was Hitler's camera, you'd be a fucking millionaire. Or it's like yeah. got pictures of Mussolini and his mistress hanging from the depot. Yeah, like oh, they're just all hanging hog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mussolini's gross old snake just popping out. Yeah, like I don't even know how to. I'm a fascist. I really don't even know how to open it. Like I know you. I don't you, want you to. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm so I don't scared. Want you to break it. It looks like a mortar. Does I know right? Doesn't it look so weird? Like <laughs> this like is this is a camera. <laughs> like an IED. And then you just like you pop this. Yeah. It's cool that they fit. Like I said, they fit all that shit inside of that. Yeah. Wild. There's like a picture of Babe Ruth on there. <laughs> like Ted Williams. Yeah. Someone's like. Yeah, when I held it, I was like, well, where do you, how do you see? <laughs> Where's the screen? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's you a, lift these. That's an analog screen. You look through it like that, I guess. Gotta Fuck if I know, dude. Then you, that's how you shoot the gun. It's a spy, it's such an it's a spy weapon. It's actually a gun. You got to load it <laughs> with meat bullets. Yeah, the person's like, yeah, here's like, I'm like, like I'm like two bucks. I'm like yeah, just I don't. I'm like all right. I don't think you. I don't think you know what you have. I'm like I'm gonna just <laughs> grab that. And you I'm know gonna take like it. the what brand it is? It's just this brand. It's a uh, An- Ansco. Ansco. Viking ready set. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. But yeah. I need this. This is important to me. But it's, yeah, it's a very like I have a lot of random camera. I have I have all my cameras. I saw my very first little like digital yeah. camera. Really? You kept all that? Shit? I have all of them. Wild. Yeah, I have like I have no joke. Probably maybe fifteen, sixteen little cameras over the years. So, um, it was made in Munich by Ag- Agfa Camera Works. See, I knew it was gonna be something. I knew it was gonna be something against Jews or something. Or something. <laughs> by Hate Jew <laughs> Camera Works for Ansco of Binghamton, New York, next to Hanging Hawk, New York. <laughs> For, from approximately 52 to 59. The camera body was made of metal and was covered in water, covered in water resistant covering. The camera took priced at 44.50 back in the day. 44.50? Mm-hmm. 455? No, 
forty-five dollars. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but probably back then, the forty-five bucks is a lot of money. Amount of money, yeah. Yeah. Um, you can get one now for a dollar. Well, that's a the bid on there. So you can buy one now on. Um. Oh, this one's a ninety dollars. They kind of vary. It varies a lot. I, I mean, like it's bids. just an old German camera. Yeah, people are bidding a lot. You could buy one right now for one hundred twenty dollars. That I think it's the same as that. So if you get in a pinch and you need, you know. Oh no! I'll never like these. Oh toss my god! It on this, eBay. this thing is so cool. I'm like, I yeah, saw it. I'm like, I have to have this. Neat. Glad you showed that to us today. Um, my appraisal is about forty five dollars, and I hope you throw it away as soon as we leave. Like, but like, whose hand could fit in that? <laughs> a child, <laughs> young, because that's who they were expecting in Germany. For the only people to be alive <laughs> were the children. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so that's really cool. I didn't and, know it was like, know, a little German, little German well, camera. Yeah, hmm. it's seen an entire life before you. Oh yeah, Probably I'm sure. Multiple lives. Yeah, I'm sure it's been World War Two or some. I don't think it was made. I think it was made before or after World after War Two. After War Two. Said between fifty two. Oh, fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty two. So like the Korean War, maybe. Hmm. Still worse. <laughs> Any, well, there, we've not not been in a war for quite a long time. That's true, so and I'm sure Germany's one, always been in a war. <laughs> I don't think they've been in one since World War Two. Everybody was like, "Nah, you nah, we're good. Doing this. We're good." We're going <laughs> to everything nine, nine. in Europe was just like specifically built like the EU and the was it United Nations. All this shit was like specifically built to stop Germany from doing that shit again. And like <laughs> For the third time. Stop it, please. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? God, what? they were just surrounded. Trying? So they were like surrounded by Britain, France and Belgium, and they were all colonizing the fucking world. And then Germany's like. Why can't we do it? And yeah. then they try. <laughs> and they're like, stop. <laughs> That's our stuff. You can't go to Africa. We own Africa. The world's ruined. <laughs> the hypocrisy is crazy. Fast forward 9-11 happened. <laughs> White people suck. Yeah, that's yeah, that didn't help. Um, giving money to Afghanistan. Giving guns to Afghanistan to fight Russia or the other way around. So, have you heard of the conspiracy theory about how the reason why COVID is going on is mm. because they have to change the batteries of all the pigeons? Yeah, we talked about this. Oh, yeah, we talked about yeah. that? Do you believe the conspiracy? Th I believe Do you that believe in aliens? You don't believe in aliens, do you? Do yeah, you believe of in aliens? Yeah. The universe is too entirely too big for there not to be one uh -huh. other person, one other thing. I don't think it's a conspiracy theory that aliens exist. Do you think it's a conspiracy theory that Trump has COVID? Or do you really think it's COVID? For a second, I thought it may be to be like a sympathy grab. And right. So he could skip the next, uh, um, whatever it's called, debate. Um, or just to be like, a, like exactly what he's doing now, where he's like, I'm great. I'm doing so well. Uh -huh. Everything's going fine. It only took a few days for me to be good. Don't worry about this. He said, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal <laughs> on Twitter for all of his fucking dipshit people to follow. And he's, he's downplaying the shit out of it while there's also there's videos of him that uh, like not breathing well, <laughs> like trying to catch his breath. <laughs> okay. Well, well damn. Because it's a respiratory uh, disease. Disease. Or virus, whatever it is, but yeah, this I think is it slow would. acting. <laughs> this is pretty fast <laughs> acting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like I said, that's what happened to Herman Cain. And if you don't think he was getting good medical attention, he's fucking loaded. He founded Godfather's Pizza. He's rich and he's a mm -hmm. politician, so he got like the be not as good as Trump probably, but he got pretty good shit. And then he felt good. Doctor said he was good. A week or two later, he died. Boom, dead, gone, over. It'd be weird if that happened, though. It'd be sad. I'd be a little bit like... Yeah, Mike be, Pence would be the president. That would suck. True. Then he'd have to find a vice president. I thought Nancy be? Pelosi, because she's... No, if, house. if Pence dies... Then I know she'd then become... Pelosi's but the president. she wouldn't move up? No. You I, I guess you don't... You get that's to pick dumb. your vice yeah, president. Yeah, you get to pick it, yeah. Or the party does, whichever one you let. Um, He's like, Aaron... <laughs> Nailer? <laughs> he just picks the, picks the name out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're being drafted <laughs> to be the vice president. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dodge that draft. It's like Aaron, can I come over sometime? Like, when can I come Vince. over? When can we start? Like, when can we start doing the podcast at the White House? Can we start doing the podcast at the White House? 
We have like a small little room like this that they. I you, bet Pence you, doesn't live in the White House because other women live there that aren't his wife, right? And he's he's he can't do that because God told him no. Well, you know he can't be in the room with other women. I know. Is that because of God? I thought it's because no, he was just touching. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because he. It's because of like he kept touching people because men who can't control their urges think all men can't control their urges. That's that's why there's so many rules and shit in different religions. Right. Where it's kind of true. Like somebody said, like, well, men men are dogs and can't not rape a woman. So Pence is afraid that if he's in a room without mother, his wife, that's that what he, he calls will, her. Yeah, that he will fucking something will, or maybe he thinks that she'll try to hit on him. Either way, it's really fucked up. And he, I'm sure he believes either of those more than him being like a respectable man to any woman at all. Hmm. He's a fucking idiot. Gross. He's going to be our president when our president dies. That sucks. And then Nancy Pelosi will be the <laughs> speaker of the house still. <laughs> it's it's Nancy Pelosi. I'm surprised Pence hasn't gotten uh, COVID. Well, I know, especially with him like walking around the, the Mayo there. Clinic. He was oh, walking yeah, around the no. Mayo Clinic well, without saying, a mask. I don't think he maybe well, he just wasn't. Ago. He, maybe he just wasn't around like all the because like all of them were in the Rose Garden like celebrating the uh, judge's nomination for the Supreme Court, and that's how they all got <laughs> her. It. That lady, yeah, God she damn. sucks too. Yeah, she's it's just a never-ending fucking cycle of shit. Like how you, how do you find these people? <laughs> we're in it for the long run, buddy. We're fucked. <laughs> Good thing we can still do this, huh? I know we can still. Exercise our rights to party. So d- <laughs> there we go. This adds a lot to the show <laughs> of distraction for me. Let's see here. What? Here we see the Congo movie. What's the Congo movie? The movie Congo <laughs> about the gorilla, the talking gorilla. Oh, no. No. Like okay. That. Mighty Joe Young. No, no, it's not Mighty Joe Young. Congo. There's a lot yeah. of gorilla movies, huh? I guess King Kong didn't talk either. Yeah, but this I one have watched the Donkey Kong cartoon. Is that what you're talking about? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, so you have any new? One. So since you don't have a job right now, mm-hmm. any new hobbies? Anything else? Oh, I've uh, um, I've recently looked into screen printing my own T-shirts. Okay. So I, re- I bought a bunch of like all the material for that. Jeez, Aaron, you're um, just like trying to be an entrepreneur, aren't I've you? I've got to do something, man. I'm losing my fucking mind. Okay. Is, it, is, <laughs> why, is that why you're like doing all these things now? Kind of. I yeah. mean, I might as well. Like, I don't have... I'm honestly trying not to get a real job again. Okay. So if I can make my own t-shirts for cheap and then sell them, and then I'll get a book, or my book will get like you know published eventually. It's it'll it's published already. I just need to get all the other shit on it, mm-hmm. like this, the um, cover for it mostly. Um, and then I'm going to try to figure out how to make stickers. I think that's more complicated, but fucking screen printing a t-shirt seems really complicated. Really? But I think I got all the stuff I need for it, (laughs) except for the shirts. I got to go buy t-shirts. Okay. Blank t-shirts. But yeah, I am excited about doing that. Nice. I haven't tried to learn something new in a long time. Okay. And that's why I got like that touchscreen laptop so I can learn how to like just draw stuff. Okay. Not for any like professional reason, just to like do something, and then because I make my flyers for my shows. You too. know what you should start doing? Huh. Can we? Okay, I'll send you pictures. Because mm. what's really cool is Aaron showed me this a picture of him in front of a Drake <laughs> picture. <laughs> yeah. But he, uh, but what he did is he cu- he cut he cut out a face of him being younger <laughs> and put it on top I'm of the good. Drake face, <laughs> yeah. and it was funny. It was beautiful. But what I think we Art. should start doing for like. One of our like for I can Instagram do that and like that. I'll get a picture of like yeah. two people, like Ab- Abbott and Carcello, <laughs> and like he'll just hands on it. yeah, All right. <laughs> just shittily like yeah. just because it's like it's not Photoshop. It's no. called Paint dot net. Okay, but it's pretty comprehensive. It's almost as good as Photoshop. It's not as comprehensive as Photoshop. It's also not a hundred dollars like Photoshop. It was right. seven bucks. Um, but I I think I figured out how to at least do shit like that. How to like cut and you know put that layer over the other this kind of whatever right and i'm i'm continuously fucking with it more and more nice to okay. get some kind of semblance of it um 
that's mostly what I did today. Okay. I made I made food and I fucked around with pictures. <laughs> I made food editing and fucked pictures. pictures. Yeah, it was great. It was all good a day. Sounds like a great I day. Ordered, I also ordered one of those pen, like stylus pens for touchscreen laptops. Um, so I'll look at you, Aaron. I know you're making moves. You gotta do stuff. You gotta say because comedy's gonna die soon. You think so? Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely, I yeah. think it does. No doubt. Um. All the outside shows are going away after this month, probably. Why? Oh, because it's cold? Yeah, it's just not. We could do them, but because it's not going to be super cold in November. Right. But it's not going to be fucking not cold. Would you? We could We could set one up here. We like, could do a, a. We already kind of do it, though. We could do a live stream show. Right, yeah. Here. And I can have like a bunch of like. I think that's what they might start crazy doing. videos and stuff. I think that's what like inside venues we're gonna start doing is mm-hmm. like the live stream shows there, and then have the people watch them at home, not like what they were when it first started, where it's everybody is on their own stream. You know, like I was doing a show in New York, right? But I was in Kansas City, right? And then this other person on the show was in Denver, um. But yeah, I think like that's what people are going to do is just go to a venue, all of them, five or six of them, and then do it in front of a camera. Okay. Instead of, you know, Zoom. We should start making, since you have all this free time now, we should start making one minute videos. Okay. Because, yeah, on the weekends I should be doing that. I need to be making short films, Mm -hmm. like one minute short films. Yeah. Like with you, I don't know, like that's the thing is like, I'm like, I'm thinking of like, where I would like to do just simple things like you shaving, me yeah. just filming you, like okay, do a slice down, like a cut down, and then it's a close up. Yeah. Then I do one like a master shot. Then I do one that's like a cowboy shot. You know, yeah. weird different things just to practice different mm-hmm. stuff, and then slowly build on that. Sure, I'm down. Okay, because it's that's how that's the only know, way you like, get better. Dayton's down too to do anything, and also Joe said that he would come and do stuff. Oh, really? He okay. wants to come do our podcast more. Okay. Um, for oh, sure. He's but, definitely, he's more than welcome. Yeah. And he's then hilarious. You, may, you could come over to our place because Joe lives there and then we could all just kind of meet there and like do whatever. Okay. Because it's bigger, it's a bigger space in here. We have a big, big open like kitchen to living room, oh, okay. dining room kind of thing. It's a big fucking room. It's huge. So yeah, we could just How do How much you pay for want. rent? Like 400? 400, yeah. Nice. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, we can figure some shit out. We can okay. do stuff. It's going to be fun. Yeah, because filmmaking, I feel the same way with filmmaking. Filmmaking mm-hmm. is like kind of fag. All dead, yeah. <laughs> it's like and you can't really do much. Gonna, like, the, <laughs> the COVID's going to come back worse. It's never left, but it's going to be way worse. Way worse. Way yeah, worse. Way worse. I keep forgetting to get a flu shot. You think we should get a flu? Well, I got the flu last year. Oh, so, okay. yeah, or earlier this year. Mm. I don't want to do that again. That sucked because then that'll fuck my immune system up and then I'll get COVID. COVID. Oh. COVID. <laughs> yeah, they'll oh. die, which is great. And then. What I've been waiting for, but I don't want it now. And then Jesus will have to come back for you. Yeah, he's gonna have to carry me out of the hospital. He'll literally carry you into the incinerator. And you know, and you know he's a dickhead about that. He never likes. Well, he's it. not very strong. Yeah, which is very surprising for being the son of you know the son of God yeah, and all this I stuff. Like he's, he's not as strong as he does, he's not as strong. Mentally, he's pretty strong. Faith, phys- spiritually, but not actually top he, top five spiritually easy. But like. Doing dead curl, like doing curls he or anything like that. Lift, uh, Can't do more than like twenty like pounds. No. no, no, dude's pretty fucking. It's not swole. He ain't jacked. That's what happens. He ain't jacked like his dad. Oh, his dad's huge. His that's dad's huge. ripped. Got to be. Got to be. How do you get this planet here? You mm-hmm. think he just fucking? He holds it still. Yeah, he had to lift it. He literally have you not heard the song like got yeah. the whole world the in whole his world hands. In his hands. Yeah, God's yeah. the turtle. We are on the back of a turtle. Isn't it so weird they picked a turtle out of all the animals? Like, why a turtle? Yeah, you can't hold... I mean, I guess the the, the back is strong because it's kind of like a rock, but also you couldn't put... Like, a ball would roll off of it. <laughs> yeah. Is it indented? <laughs> is there, like, a small... Like, it never made sense to me that the, on the, on the, the world is on top of a turtle shell. Mm, it's like, maybe, like... It's so stupid. If a turtle shell was square <laughs> with a little indention in it. I'm like, why are you just put on the... The turtle's just like, ah. <laughs> I can't move. Oh, fuck. oh no. <laughs> I never understood that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I think it's silly. Mm-hmm. Clean your shit up, dummies. Get it together. Damn. <laughs> 
What do you do? You, what what kind of music have you been listening to lately? Um, what have I been listening to? A lot of like indie stuff, uh, like indie kind of folky folk rock. And then I listen to a lot of metal. Okay. Um, some bands I like came out with new albums recently. Uh, the Deftones came out with a new album, and we talked about that in the other podcast. Uh, pretty good, and. Sufjan Stevens, you know Sufjan? Mm-mm. He's a sad guy living in Brook- Brooklyn, singing okay. about sad shit. He's pretty good. A lot of sad shit. A lot of sad yeah, stuff. Yeah, I listened to that shit before I was sad. And but then I kept listening to it. It was like, oh, yeah, I get it. And now I'm not sad, but I still get it. Mm. I lived it. It's pretty cool. Okay. Like they're writing about me. What about you? Oh, a lot of weird. <laughs> so that's what that's what's funny. It's like, I want, that's why I wanted to bring it up. Mm-hmm. was I was listening to a weird, like a lot of love songs, country music love songs. Like, why am I listening to this on the ride? Like on country stations? Yeah. I'm just like, why but am country? I listening to this? Why am I listening to country radio? Wow. Yeah, why were you? I don't know why it was. I was I've, I've found a couple. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I found a couple good um, country groups that I like. I guess there's just singers, really. But I didn't like any of it. Well, and like good. there wasn't one song I liked. This is the country that I've back. been listening to is not like the radio country. Mm. It's like kind of it's kind of like older. It's not older. It's new, but it's in the vein of like older Old. country people, yeah. like Johnny okay. Cash and you oh. know, like uh, Hank Williams and whatever. All these people I've never listened. A lot to. of steel, like a lot of a lot of Steely Dan. <laughs> yeah, a lot you of. You know polo what's the ties. weird? So like you know, in high school. Mm-hmm. Like we'd have our the warm up song like during football, yeah. Like was like Steely Dan. So I was like, how are we get? How can we get? <laughs> what Steely Dan uh, song was it? Like in the was it the one in the night? See the thing I've I've had this problem with Steely Dan before where I can never tell if it's a Steely Dan song or if it's like Santana or some other fucking group. I can't think of any any Steely Dan song right now. And I should Looking honestly up. be shot in the street for it. Um, Just say the name and I'll probably find Peg. it. Peg. What? Do it again. <laughs> no. Peg? Do it Peg? again. Peggy? Yeah. What's the first song? P-E-G. Ricky Don't Lose. Oh, Ricky Don't Lose That Number? That's yeah. That's a song? What's the second one? Uh, Hey 19. Uh, I think I've heard that. Deacon Blues. No. Nope. Yeah. Reeling in the years. Oh, are you reeling in the years? Throwing away the time. Black <laughs> cow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, don't talk about my mom. I'd be listening to this. I'm like, why are we listening to Dude, this yeah, and like cool warming up to football? <laughs> that's <so> weird. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I don't know. I think like because I see. Um, my warm up shit is always like metal. It's always hard metal. Yeah. But a lot of people's warm up stuff is like, you know, fucking hard hip hop or rap or shit. Like I get it. It's kind of in the same vein. Like it's right. both kind of ang- it sounds angry. Yeah. Which is enough. But the people who and I've kind of been I've kind of done this the past like couple of years when I'm working out. I'll listen to whatever comes on. So I have a lot of slow music on my my phone even if it's slow. I'll listen to it while I'm doing it because it it doesn't matter to me anymore as much. Right. Um, but the people who only listen to that stuff, like who listen to country music when they're working out, I don't understand it. Nothing pump could ever pump, but it's all you know. It's subjective. Ding 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 ding. What, what was that? <laughs> that's that's a, that's a, the uh, banjo. Ding 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 What you did sounded uh I'm just not white. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounded like you're making fun of like a Chinese song or something. <laughs> and that's probably on me because I it wasn't. It was you trying to do a banjo. And that points out that I <laughs> You're the problem. <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> So when you do a banjo, it, it's not ting, 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 because that does sound <laughs> pretty bad. It's boing, ding, 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 It's a ding, not a ting. Ding, 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 ding. And then I just made it sound like an Asian song. Whatever, man. We're here. We're, this is what we're doing. <laughs> it's okay. You mean no harm. But Aaron, we're, uh, no we're about harm. an hour. We're almost, we're about. That's pretty good. 59 minutes and 30 seconds, so wow, you want to drop your... This. Yeah, so uh, my things are um, 
uh, at <laughs> <laughs> I am Aaron Naylor. I was thinking of funny things to say, like at a, like a dating profile video, like uh-huh. they used to have. Like, I love long walks on the beach. Um, also, long walks in the ocean. Um, I would like to walk into the ocean and not stop walking. I hope to catch a fish, eat the fish, okay, and become the fish. And you know what they say, you know, you can teach a man. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to be a fish. It's a fish he forever. has gills. <laughs> He's a fish, he doesn't have to eat anything. No, because he'll, ha- he'll, he'll eat other things. He won't eat other fish because fish don't eat other he fish. Well, they do. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch some documentaries, don't we? <laughs> we gotta watch that octopus documentary again. <laughs> um, yeah, my Twitter and Instagram is at I am Aaron Naylor. Um, uh, listen to the Cool Baby podcast. Um, it's on iTunes and all that other shit. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Mm. Listen to it on Amazon Music. So it, once you upload it on that, it goes. It automatically gets. You put it on that RSS feed, baby. It, it feeds. It, it just. It feeds. It just shoots everything. out to everything. Just where one the time. Feed is, where the feed is put in, yeah. Really, that's Great. nice. Super easy. Oh my god. Amazing. Um, we yeah, made it what, way too hard. <laughs> oh, oh, also, there's comedy shows that are coming up. I'm headlining at Knuckleheads, um, on the 14th. I am doing a show at the Black Box Theater in their parking lot uh, this Saturday on the 10th. I'm also doing the telethon for the Rhino in North Kansas City. Um, so watch that on Facebook Live and give them your money. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then, what am I doing? Um, the Cool Baby shows are the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Go to the Cool Baby Facebook and you can see all of those except for one of them because Joe hasn't uploaded it yet, but we're getting on it. He's busy eating pancakes for a comic book. John. Uh, yes, you Woo. can like, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe to this, then you get my solo show that I do on every Tuesday. And this show comes out on every Thursday. Cool Babies podcast that I produce for Aaron comes out on Fridays, or at least that's the day that I... Um, Whenever it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, if you really want to see it, you should say something. So Because I record it. And but Aaron never does anything with the video, mm-hmm. so maybe we could probably possibly put, make a video version of it. There, uh, there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah, you can follow me on all my social medias at John D. Clouser. It's literally the same name as the name that you subscribe to on this YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, be John safe. Squared dot com. Uh, yeah, John 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 dot com. <laughs> dot John. Uh, and I will. Yeah, we'll see you guys on another episode. Live, laugh, love ya. All right. Bye, guys. Cut it. <laughs>